Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Empty Nester Menu Pickers. How are you doing today? All right. Good. It's home opener day. It is home opener day for, for the, the not Indians. For the not, not Indians. I should put not up here. Not Indians. <laughs> the Guardians. Uh, yeah, I don't have any Guardians gear. I mean, I have Indians. I, Why would I go buy a Guardian? I have the hat. I got that for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Not not today. I that one. Not well, this it could one. Be. It's the same colors. Yeah. Blue. I think I, I think it's right over there. Our highest I do like colors. their colors best out of the Cleveland teams. Yeah. So it's so also kind of like American red, white, and blue. Last I checked they were losing one to nothing in like oh. the fifth inning or something oh. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um oh, yeah, haircuts though. That's a winner. That that is what a good thing. Haircuts are your do. Yeah. And, and it's exciting. And I got rid of the gray. Even though one of my peoples in Meals on Wheels, they like my gray highlights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping the gray highlights. <laughs> and she said, I like your hair longer like that. And I said, oh, thanks. She's like, I like the highlights. I'm like, mm, those aren't staying. Those are gray. <laughs> so they're gone. Like, More information day. than you ever wanted to know. It's a happy day when... Hair's not gray anymore. Mine's still pretty gray. It's white. Hmm. Potato, potato. Did you shave? Um, not today. Maybe yesterday. Not Indians. Not today. We got theme. Not going. today. So, last time you saw us, we had chosen the fireworks factory. We did some quick research. It didn't take us too yeah, long to figure out. because it had like fancy holes in it, remember? Oh, you're going to lose ah. everything inside. Okay, leave it. See, there's the holes. I, I can, it's like I spy yeah. with my little eye. Wow. <laughs> so we figured it had to be a fancy place. But where was it, Don? It was in Pleasure Island in Disney World. Which then became... Downtown Disney, which then became currently Disney Springs, so mm -hmm. you know it was a while ago. Yeah. And it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, and even, even if it did we exist. Go to, we do go to Disney yeah, and, it, uh, now and then. Yeah. Even but, even if it did exist, we would not be heading last down time there. we went there, um, we ate at um, Enzo's Hideaway. We did. It was yeah. good. And that the bowling. Was, that was in downtown Disney. Oh, and. In the bowling alley. And Splitsville. I can't, that's it, Splitsville. But yeah, but wasn't as good. Enzo's was kind of cool because it looked like you were underground and it really, really weren't. That, like, you know, the whole th Disney thing, like they put, you know, fireworks holes in your menu. It looked like we were underground, but we really weren't. Like a mafia kind of setting. Yeah, like you know, we it. had to go through the, the, needed the code word to go um, in and eat. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was cool, but um, yeah, it was cool. I don't think the food was excellent, but it was cool. Yeah, it, was it was good. good. I it remember good. being yeah, good. It was Italian. It was Italian. Okay, yeah. So we didn't go there. We didn't go. We didn't go to Disney. No, and we. It's figured, not there anyway. No. I don't know what's in the spot. Do you know what's in the spot? I, have I no think idea. we read that, but I don't remember what it was. I, I don't remember spot, seeing that. Now. Yeah, I don't know. So we figured we'd have a little bit of trouble finding something with a fireworks theme. Yeah, they don't usually <laughs> fireworks, explosive stores, not restaurants. Yeah, you look up fireworks on <laughs> uh, maps, and you. Find a bunch of places to buy fireworks. Is my shirt okay? When I have my hair, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Should have done that before we started. <laughs> so, Wait. we did not go to Orlando to uh, go to no, dinner. we went down the street. We went down the street, somewhere uh, fairly local for us in Copley, called the Firehouse Tavern. Yeah. Um, it's a little place, little place. Yeah, it's small. It's a, more more of a bar, really, than anything else. Yeah, there's a pretty good sized bar, and then some like bar top tables and mm -hmm. some regular tables. Probably more, and no more than like about. And there was like a little tiny little dining room. Yeah, and then very small. They, so they could fit more people, and there was like a couple of tables in like the lobby area. Mm -hmm. And a couple on the patio, oh, yeah, which it's still not warm enough for that. Cold. Yeah. So, I mean, there were probably no more than, what, about 10, 12 tables there in total? One, two, three, four, five. Close-ish. Well, there was, like, a group in the back, too, that had, like, half the bar, and then another group had the big table. And then there 
there's like yeah, there's probably like a dozen tables or so, and then a couple outdoor ones. All that worked to agree with me. I don't even remember <laughs> what you said because then Ten I to just 12. kept going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Say hi, Mel. This is the season opener, by the way, for the Guardians. It used to be the Indians. We're at the Firehouse. Firehouse Tavern. Kind of cool up at the ceiling. So there were not a lot of uh, souvenirs. So you already saw one of the souvenirs we got, the Firehouse Tavern um, yeah, well, card. Yeah, well, we could have bought a t-shirt. We could have bought a t-shirt. sweatshirt. But. And we got a little bit, they serve the food on some of these things. So we got a clean one. Yeah, this is a clean a, one. It, it tray, wasn't one from our dinner. A little tray thing with the, with the, with the wax paper thing. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to rip off and save part of mine, but it was a little juicy. And so... Mm -hmm. I mean, Don asked the, the server for our um, for a, a clean one. Yeah. So right. he did the old, I have a strange request. <laughs> we seem to be doing that a good bit during this Can uh, we have one adventure. of these clean ones? We go around the different restaurants in Northeast Ohio. So. Mm -hmm. And she brought us back the business card, too. Yeah. So. She was more than happy to do it. Yeah. Very pleasant. Yeah. She was apologizing for, like, being busy. Because um, Don asked, you know, is it is it always this busy on a Thursday? And, and he thought, like, or she thought that um, he was maybe complaining, complaining about, about how long it took for, like, the bill and that. Um, but he wasn't because we didn't have anywhere to be, so we didn't mind. But um, she's like, yeah, it's busy all the time. So, and... Uh, and what it's, do you think? It's probably the best bar food that we've had. Yeah, that's why it's I mean, busy all the time. It, it, had, it had pretty good food. Yeah, I mean, you had homemade chicken fingers. Pretty yeah, I, I was going to get something else, and I asked the recommendation of the waitress. She said the chicken fingers are awesome, and I'm always a sucker for chicken fingers. So Yeah, um, they were like real pieces of chicken, and they breaded them themselves, and, mm -hmm. and they were good. Yeah, I had a bite of yours. You could tell that they didn't just go back to the freezer, get one out, yeah, and throw it, it down. Was fresh. It was fresh. It was It was hand-breaded and everything like that. So it was... It was really good. The fries were excellent. I had chips with mine, and um, I had a, a wrap, so that was mm. it. Was good. It was, um, you know, a lot of fresh ingredients. I had cranberries in it, and mm, um, cranberries, you know, lettuce, and um, did I have a turkey? I don't even remember which one I had. I just remember the cranberries because <laughs> it was different, and uh, I think there was like some blue cheese in there, and um, it was really it was big. Yeah, I wasn't, so, I, I didn't. The I, portions the, were a good size. They were. The chips, I don't think, were the greatest. Well, the chips were a little moist. Um, they were because soft. Because they, they weren't they crisp. Kind of, I think they, like, deep fried them. So. Yeah. Um, I think they were a little oil soaked, but I didn't mind. I don't, I don't have to have a crispy fry. Mm -hmm. So, if, chip. chip. So if you like crispy chips, go for the fries. They were they were better well, than the mine chips. Well, said it would come with chips and salsa, like tortilla chips, but it did not. So maybe they were out of those. I don't know. But... No, it just said chips. No, if you had the, uh -huh. the wrap, it said that like with wraps you get um, tortilla chips and salsa. I stand corrected. And, or guac. Mm -hmm. Or queso. Is but she's a, sure that it was. You should have looked yeah. it up online. No, I remember reading that. It said with the, <laughs> with the, with the wraps. I don't but, remember what it said, but I remember but something. But I got chips, okay. which is okay. I mean, that so, gave you out a lot, though. I didn't need that many chips. So. Yeah. I would definitely go there again. It was excellent food. Yeah. A uh, nice atmosphere. I mean, that's the best bar food we've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We actually there have... like eight TVs or something in the little, in the little bar area we were in, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they all had the Indians game on at one point. Ah, Guardians game on at one point. Which was the the um, season opener. Yeah. That night. So we thought maybe it was busy because of that, but we asked our server and she says, no, it's like this all the time. And then, and I think it's because the food was good. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people were there at the bar drinking, but I think they were getting like dinner too. And there was two like family groups, I mean, not little kids, but um, yeah. Teenager, yeah, maybe no. late teens, yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, I think uh, people just go there for the food. It's good. It used to be a pizza place when we lived in Copley. Italian food. Yeah, yeah. and it's it wasn't a big place. I think we only tried it once, and I don't remember why we didn't go back, but whether it was service or whatnot. But it was never that crowded when we would drive by when we lived in Copley, when it was a pizza place. So um, the people that have it now, they seem to be um, hitting the mark. Yep. So. Two thumbs up from me. Yeah, there was a, not a lot of parking either. No, no. It was, so it was quite full. Yeah. I gave two thumbs up. How about you? Yeah, it was good. Uh, that's the best bar food we have had. Yep. Yep. Just, just outdoing the Thirsty Cowboy. Well, the Thirsty Cowboy has the best best server. That they, that they did. Uh, so we're going to have to do like our best of a video one of these times. Right? When we figure out how to get the videos up, because now that we've been taping videos on Don's new phone, it doesn't quite transfer to the computer at the moment. So there may be a lull in putting, I got this. putting videos up again, um, because we have to figure that out. So I'll figure it out. I'm a technological That's one genius. That's disadvantage to being empty nesters. You don't have your kids <laughs> to ask phone questions and technical yeah. questions. Yeah, Trev needs to come back from uh, Austria at this point so he can help yeah. us. Even Kay could probably figure it out. Mm -hmm. So um, they, 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 they um, don't look. Stop looking. They yeah. have um, more experience with the phones than we do. So. Especially me, but um, yeah. So and that brings us disadvantage to not having your kids at home. You have to figure out the technical stuff yourself. That brings us to I the have moment. To pick, a, pick a menu. Where you're gonna pick a menu? It's mouse turn. Wait, why do you say like not look and you put all the flaps down? Leave the flaps up. Flaps up, buddy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, don't that's look. Better, I don't understand why you than look. My, how are you gonna get my arm in? How if are I you go gonna like this, what if I miss? Then you reposition <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, that's the last laugh I had when I was going down the side at Castle Bluff. Oh. You're not gonna be able to get very deep like that. What if we because... like? What if we pick like? I don't know. Maybe one in Ohio that's open. <laughs> maybe not. Northeast Ohio. Maybe that's open. not it. Super fancy one. I don't know if they went to a lot of super fancy ones here. But. Well, that's some of the bigger menus. If you grab one of the bigger menus, those I are probably know, the more I fancy like ones. I want to go for a little one. There's a little paper one here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want the paper one or the laminated. Paper laminated. Paper laminated. I'm not picking. You <laughs> are. Dash. Make up paper laminated. Bark once for Burp. paper. Burp. Oh, he's stretching. He's stretching. What does that mean? He wants to go for a walk. Don't say that. We'll take him for another <laughs> one. He's going for toys. toys I'm sorry. Just Is he going for a vinyl toy or a cloth toy? Okay. I'm going to go with vinyl toy, and so we'll go with the laminated. Yes? He's smiling. Laminated? I'm sorry that the video is so long today. <laughs> uh Painesville. Well, this might be another um, Walgreens or something. Last time we picked one in Painesville, it turned into a CVS or Walgreens. I can't even pronounce that. It's it's vertical, so this makes it hard. Hell Regals. Hell Regals in. Hell Regals in. Starting with hell, it can't be that Farms. good. Cherry Farms? Like, I have not heard of Cherry Farms or Hell Regals. Yeah, but we don't go to Painesville that often either, so. It's on Route 20. So, it looks like a 50s type of building. So, it's, it's it may slow. not still exist. There we go. Eating place with country club atmosphere. There's a whole story on the back. Hmm. Semi fancy. For back then, the prices are pretty high. Well, it sounds like country club. But it's at a farm. The farm consists of hell regals. I'm not, probably not even saying that right. In three miles west of Painesville. The original brick building was built in 1863 as the home of Mr. and Mrs. George Blish. 
It was considered one of the most notable country estates in the United States. That's Mr. and Mrs. George Blish, not, not Bush. George Bush. <laughs> it's been owned by one family for more than 40 years until Frank Hart purchased it in 1908, at which time the estate became, became known as Cherry Farm. It went from Jackson Street to Route 84. Farm was divided into sublots and now comprises of one's, one of Painesville's finest residential areas. Well, wow. You know, isn't that like the usual? Yeah. Somebody sells off their farm and it turns into houses. Yep. So apparently there's houses on mm -hmm. the farm. Well, well oh, apparently there's more because in 1925, mm -hmm. the buildings and grounds became a Jewish orphan's home where children spent the summer. The following year, it was the Lake County Country Club. Well, it didn't stay a Jewish orphan's home very long. Nope. They must have <laughs> given away all the orphans. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. In 1928, Joe and Mary... Oh, here's where the Hell Regal comes in, if I'm saying it right. Am I saying it right? I have no Maybe idea. it's German. Heil Regal. Heil Oh, well, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go with Hell Regal. Hell Regal it is. <laughs> Even any way we say it, it sounds bad. Maybe we should have the computer tell us how... Um, purchased and converted into a restaurant and nightclub in 1928. In 1945, it was purchased by, that's at the end of the war, by Mr. and Mrs. Ross McNaughton. 1952? No, 45. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Ross McNaughton of Cleveland. In 52, two Painesville men, William Cochever and Arthur Covert, purchased the eight acres of land and building. Man, this thing got switched around a lot of times. So wait, so it doesn't even say it's named for the Hell Regals, but they didn't own it. It was purchased by the McNaughtons, then the Cochever <laughs> and Covert, and then the Hay Re Hell Regals was the eating place with the country club atmosphere was redecorated in 1954. A banquet room to accommodate large parties was added onto the original structure. They cater if they're still there. Yeah, but they didn't say they opened it. Oh, yeah, they, they converted it to a restaurant and nightclub. I forgot what I read. <laughs> hey, go. What? Are we done? <laughs> yeah, they converted it to a restaurant and they named it after themselves, I guess. So well, that, that was, makes sense. It was there in 1928, but, um, hell are you, but <laughs> I don't even know. In, I don't know if we're saying it right, and, um, I don't know if it still exists, but that would be sad if it didn't because it started in 1928. We're just going to shorten it to Hell's Inn. Oh, that's better. How about Regal's Inn? Regal's like Inn. Like the Regal Beagle. Maybe it's the Regal Beagle. Anyway. From from Three's Company. You know, know from the you 80s. About. You can tell he grew up in the 80s. Yep. Okay, that was way too long of a video. That was way too long. <laughs> We gotta go see if this still exists, and I don't know where we're eating if it doesn't. Some country club or something. Somewhere that starts with hell. I don't know if there's gonna be <laughs> one of those. It's kind of like fireworks. Hell maybe, restaurant. Maybe we could go the other way and find a church or something that now is a restaurant. So something starting with heaven. Who knows? I don't think we're gonna find many of those either. So, if you liked the video, hit the little like button. Yes, and then dingy the bell. Ding. And, and so make you sure know you hit when this wonderful, entertaining video hits. <laughs> and when we figure out how to get it up there. Yeah, and make sure that you subscribe because yeah, because we like subscribers. Yeah, and then throw 13. us a comment or something. Like, are we saying that right? Does anybody has anybody been there in Painesville and mm -hmm. know how to say it? Have you ever been to a restaurant really, that referenced um, hell? We are really um, doing a disservice to Mr. and Mrs. Hillregal. <laughs> All right. Other than I guess that, that's it for today. Uh, that is it for today. Is that it for today? That Did is. We cover everything. Sure hope so. Yeah, we're a little behind in the video because it's home opener Friday. Yeah, this probably it's won't come out a for Monday a few thing. months. And yeah, and that'll be like halfway through the season by the <laughs> and not yeah. not Indians. Yeah. We'll see how they're doing. Yeah. Everybody, have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.